Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. We have the V4R out here at Indy Motorsports Ranch and we're gonna take it out obviously on the track and have some fun. It's the first time out. So stay tuned for my thoughts and definitely some fun riding. Tied yourself up. Come on. Come on. Go that way. There you go. Go that way. Go that way. There you go. Good boy. There you go. You're untied. You're free. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, this thing's recording so I don't have mirrors to look. But I believe there's no one on track right now. I need to track out of myself. It feels so good. Under brakes and everything. The quick shifter and GP, man, does it just freaking fly. Ugh. First out lap, so don't do anything crazy. But climbing around on this bike just feels so much more natural than it's ever did on my Street Fighter. The Street Fighter always felt like was doing something weird, you know? Like it wasn't meant to do that, even though it was super capable. But, oh what it is, this bike just loves you climbing around on it. It's like a jingle jam, a Ducati jingle jam. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming down the hill. Yep, yeah, yeah, there we go. Get some heat in the tires. First time I did that right today. Nice. Up the hill, down the blind turn. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Wide. Take a punch out. Hit that one. Roll over. Hit that one. Stay on the side of the bike. And lean in. This all, turns always freaks people out because of the way you crest it. Oh my god, the brakes. <laughs> brakes are just so fucking good. over slow this turn. I don't have the ball for it yet. <laughs> but we'll get there. The shifts feel so good. I am getting some weird vibrations which I might need to get left out. You do the 360 camera. Blurp. Not crazy. Come on. Come on. Not hanging off now. No we're close. <laughs> Which just cannot get settled on the pig right. It's annoying me. Oh. Oh, come on. You're right there.
it sounds so weird. Look down the bottom of the road. Come on. Come on, you got it. There we go. Beautiful. last here at Indy on the V4R. All right, so the first couple of sessions are done and I want to talk a little bit about what the V4R felt like. This is from a common man's, common rider's perspective. So a few points about the V4R that I've noticed is it is super calm under braking and is very, very calm accelerating out of corners. It's something the V4S isn't, like it's, it's a little bit of a handful as you leave corners, whereas the V4R, super super nice and easy especially when you roll on the throttle it's it loves that you can definitely hit it and it'll stay nice and planted as well i think the v4r like it just in my hands not very capable feels super confidence inspiring and i really really am digging it so far so initial thoughts easy to ride comparatively to a v4s or pentagon's of past very very revvy and that's not a bad thing you never find yourself wanting to find the right gear like you used to on the older panigales and again the v4s the torque that comes out of corners makes it you have to be a little dainty as you, you exit those corners so the v4r isn't like that and i'm digging it so far And there's a lot. <laughs> 